Hey guys, just gonna go through my uh, turbo upgrade here for my Z31 Turbo. Uh, basically, I'm just upgrading to the stock T3 to this whole set HY35W, and I'm just gonna talk about a few things that you probably have to do to make this work. Um, but yeah, let's let's run through this really quick. Um, first off, I'll say that this uh, whole set, the HY, actually has a different there's actually a few different types uh, that come with different compressors and different turbines. Uh, I believe based on the whole set owner's manual, I have a uh, type A, which actually has the wastegate integrated into the compressor housing, which kind of sucks um, because I'm gonna need a boost source for the boost controller. Whereas this one has usually two little nipples here with hoses coming off of it that are teed together that go to the boost controller. This actually is just integrated in there. It actually goes in there like this, and it's sealed by this O-ring there. So what I'm gonna have to do for this section here is I'm gonna have to drill and tap that and put my own fitting on there. And I already have that pretty much ready to go. This is a eighth of an inch NPT with a quarter inch uh, barb on there. And then this is the tap. And then this is the drill you need for this tap. But yeah, this should be pretty easy. It's not gonna be a big deal. But that's one thing that we have to do to make that fit, or to make that work for the boost controller. Uh, another thing here is it's oriented differently. This is stock, and depending on how I put this in, um, this might actually work. So we'll have to see what's going on with that. And uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll just have to clock the turbo. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, this other thing here, this uh, bracket here that holds the wastegate, uh, that might have to be shaved off depending on whether it interferes with anything else or not. Um, and let's talk about the center section here. Alright, so here is the oil feed. Uh, this is definitely different here. Um, this is two bolts and then that little, that little port there. It's a little guy compared to this guy here, which I believe is 12 by 1.5. So I'm going to have to get some different oil fittings uh, for this here. And then what's nice about this is that the oil return, there we go, the oil, shit. the oil return is actually very similar. You can see the only difference is this little square port and then that's a circle. But yeah, they're actually very similar so I don't have to modify anything. The stock oil return will work perfectly fine. Another thing I'll point out is this one is water cooled, this one is not, so I'm going to have to uh, get creative with the uh, coolant lines, probably just have to loop it together from the intake manifold to the heater core, no big deal. So that, that's actually pretty easy, that'll be nice because it'll simplify the engine bay a bit. Um, let's talk about the turbine here. Okay. All right, you can see that this is Nissan 7 bolt proprietary shit, or bullshit here. And this is Holset's proprietary 5 bolt thing here. So you're going to have to get a custom downpipe or a custom adapter made for that. Um, I already have one, so it's not a big deal. So, yep. And then uh, another issue here is I'm going to run an external wastegate, so I'm going to have to actually figure out a way to get this closed or keep this closed. Um, usually you can, you can weld that shut or you can, on the, on the flange, you can actually put, weld some material on the bottom that will actually hold, push that closed and prevent it from opening. Um, what I was gonna do, since I don't have access to a welder, is drill a hole in the flange and then tap it and then put a bolt and then that bolt will actually hold this shut. So I'm gonna go with that route and that'll work perfectly fine. And that'll be nice. Uh, one thing I'll point out too is that this guy usually has two studs here, these guys right here. Um, these are M10 by one and a half, and you're gonna have to take those off, and then looking at these holes, probably gonna have to drill that out a little bit bigger. Uh, no big deal, but yeah, this is gonna be a nice little upgrade, especially since the T3 is freaking tiny compared to this. But believe it or not, the, what's it called? The turbine is actually not that much bigger. So the T3, this one here is I think 0.63 AR, and this one's 0.65.
so it'll be a nice little upgrade. And uh, people ask me why I'm going with this instead of the HX35, and basically I'm not after big power. And whereas the HX, you can probably get up to maybe 4, 450 horsepower or something like that. This one will go up to 400, no problem. But it'll spool a little bit faster too, because this is, as I said, this is 0 0.65 for the turbine housing, and the HX is actually 0 0.89, so it's quite a bit bigger. So this is a nice compromise between power and spool, and I'm not getting upgraded heads or cams or anything like that. So, you know, it's having my spool start at 4,000 RPM is probably not not very good for my daily driven Z. So this will definitely work for me, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. And if I don't like it, then I'll just I have a lot of options, different options. I can get a bigger turbine housing, or I can just go straight to the HX. No big deal. But yeah, we'll see how it goes.